Meet the iPhone killer, the Galaxy Nexus. Brought to you in an East meets West combination of the mighty Samsung and the all-powerful Google, this is one of the best pieces of hardware that's going to be hitting the market soon. And not only is it great hardware, but it's also packing Android's brand new operating system, Ice Cream Sandwich, and oh, it's sweet. Okay, so it's not that different in shape to the original Nexus, but that's not a bad thing. Great functionality like the side-mounted power button is even more relevant on this large 4.65 inch beast. And while we're talking screen size, it's worth mentioning this is packing a whopping 320 pixels per inch on the Super AMOLED 1280 by 720 high definition display, which is just a few pixels shy of the iPhone's retina display, but over an inch bigger. It really is stunning, especially when watching things like this HD video. All that, and even with a huge 1750 mAh battery, it's only 8.94 millimeters thin. Jumping straight into the only thing that could be called negative about this phone, the camera. Sure, it's only 5 megapixels, but the speed of snapping is impressive, as are the many options, including 1080p video, huge 180 degree panoramic photos, and plenty of after effects to make even your worst photo less worse. And because of the open source OS, you can share your snaps with any app on the handset. Take note Apple. We love the button resizing that lets you use even more of this big, beautiful screen. Good touch, Android. Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich is pretty much perfect. There, I said it. Granted, we haven't had a long time to test it, and this isn't even a fully finished version, but colour us impressed. I mean, look at how it unlocks. Amazing. Facial recognition is the future. You can customise your home pages to perfection. Now you can pile apps into folders. Yes, like iOS, but it works. Gone are contacts. Now you get people tiles. These are beautiful, more so even than Windows Phone's admittedly original efforts. People profiles pull in all the contact information associated with that person from all their social media details, and that cleverly lets you access it quickly from anywhere they appear in the phone. Input is made easy on the Galaxy Nexus with the super subtle haptic feedback from the keyboard. You can also use speech to text which updates in real time as you talk, with easy tap to change options so you don't get too frustrated with errors like on a certain other talkative phone. The new mail is brilliant, buttons actively change to suit what you're doing within the messages. Jumping into the browser, which now supports up to 16 tabs at a time, you can see how crisp that screen really is. To make full use of it, you have the option to automatically view the full desktop version of the site, if you're not into the mobile version. And if you're going underground or feeling lazy, web pages can be saved for later. But unlike iOS 5, this saves the whole web page as you see it on the site. Ideal for things like tube maps. This model doesn't have it, but visual voicemail will be built in, and it even lets you play back your messages at three different speeds. So, you already want one, right? November 17th is the release date coming out of the rumour mill, and we're expecting a price tag of around £595. If that sounds a bit steep, we have something that can help. One more thing, it does this.